Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video will be about aromatic amino acids. Three of the 20 amino acids fall under this group. They include tryptophan, phenylalanine, and tyrosine. An easy way to remember this group is by memorizing the acronym WIFI, which is W-F-Y, and pronounced as WIFI. I came up with this acronym and I used it because the acronym is made of the one-letter abbreviations of the three amino acids. So let's look at the structures of these three amino acids. These are easy to remember and identify. This is because the amino acids in this group have a benzene ring. So once you see a benzene ring, all you have to do is to differentiate between the three. The first molecule is tryptophan. This is the most complex looking amino acid within this group. However, I learned to identify this by first making sure that the amino acid has a benzene ring. After that, if you see another cyclic ring above the benzene ring, then you know that this is tryptophan. Another thing that I have noticed about the MCAT is that they do not include made up or false fake amino acids as a response option for a question where you are required to identify a specific amino acid. This is at least true as of recording this video. So having a rough idea about how they each look should be sufficient for you to correctly identify these molecules. Then we have F of the RIFI acronym, and this stands for phenylalanine. This is an easy molecule to remember. If you see an amino acid with just a benzene ring that is attached to the alpha carbon via a CH2 group, then this is phenylalanine. And finally, in this group, we have tyrosine. This molecule is also easy to remember because it's an extension of phenylalanine. The only difference is that it has a hydroxyl group, that is an OH group attached to the benzene ring at the fourth carbon. This is also called the para position. Those are the only three amino acids in the aromatic amino acid group. That's it for this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe as that helps the channel out a lot. Click the video on the left hand side to learn about the next class of amino acids. If you want to learn about all the 20 amino acids at the same time, please click the video on the right. See you next time. Bye!